This will trigger some people, but I don't care. Most people are NPCs and they will live out their whole entire lives without any conception of it. Most people will never truly achieve any control of their lives. This is the harsh reality. And the chances are, you might be one of these people right now. Welcome to the movement. I help men find and fulfill their purpose in life. Chapter 1. How most people become NPCs. Alright, so what exactly is an NPC? An NPC is a non-player character that is programmed with a predetermined set of repetitive predictable behaviors that impact the gameplay however the developer wants. So essentially, if you are the developer of Skyrim, you're gonna create an NPC in order to progress the story. You program that NPC to say a certain things and do a certain things for the gameplay and that NPC ends up progressing the story for the main character. An NPC has no will of his own, he just does what he has been programmed to do. Now let's compare this to the normal life that most people live. You get bored, you get educated by your parents and in school, then society tells you that at this age you're supposed to go to university, and then at this age you're supposed to work a job, and then at this age you're supposed to get married, and then at this age you're supposed to have children. So society essentially programs you to act a certain acceptable, socially acceptable way. Most people never question the societal programming. Most people never question what they're told. And so they end up being NPCs. An NPC in a video game is just programmed by the developer to do certain set of actions that are acceptable to the gameplay. An NPC in real life is programmed by the educational system, by the government to do certain, you know, actions and behaviors that are socially acceptable. Nobody actually questions whether what we're being taught and what we're being told by the news and the governments is actually true. Almost universally, almost everybody lives by the same stupid beliefs of what society has program them with. The conclusion is that most people feel like NPCs because they are NPCs. Just like NPCs in a video game, they are programmed by the developer, which is the government and the educational system, to do what the developer wants them to do. And if you never question this, you're a fucking NPC because you've been programmed by foreign beliefs. You're not in control of your life, somebody else is in control of your life. And if you are emotionally triggered by this, then you are the fucking NPC. Your emotional trigger comes from foreign beliefs in your head. And you have these beliefs in the back of your head. And now I'm questioning them, which emotionally triggers you. The point I'm trying to make is that most people are not in control of their lives because they're programmed by society, by the government, by their parents, by the educational system, by whatever, to just act a certain acceptable way. And they never actually question anything. They just live the life path set out to them by other people. But this is dangerous. It's dangerous to be a real life NPC. It's dangerous to be programmed by other people. If you let yourself be programmed by other people, you're essentially leaving your life in their hands. You're hoping that your government, your educational system and your parents told you the truth of reality so that your life can be good. You're hoping that they actually care for you. But for a lot of people, that is not the case. NPCs, real life NPCs, lack critical thinking. They lack the ability to judge if what's put in front of them in social media or in the news or in the educational system is actually true. They just accept it at face value and they end up being programmed by society. This is fucking dangerous because, for example, Nazism happened because of this. All the Nazis did is they started a party and then they started doing propaganda and because people have no critical thinking, they accepted the propaganda and the Nazis became what the Nazis became. They took over the country and everybody fucking loved them for it and then they ended up doing World War II and creating the deadliest fucking war in history and because people have no critical thinking in their head, they couldn't see it coming. This is why being an NPC is so dangerous. You can fall into the programming of bad people, of people who will not do the best thing with your life. And even if you live in normal society, this is already happening. It's not the best thing for you to go to university and work a 9-5 job. It's not. You will stay fucking poor 
your whole life like this. But that's how everybody's programmed, so that's what we gotta do. And if you fucking question it, people call you crazy. If you wanna be doomed to an average existence, then sure enough, follow the programming. Follow what Papa has told you, follow what you know the educational system, the governments have told you. Follow everything. And that's how you end up living a normal life. How, that's how you end up getting drafted to fucking armies and fighting for some asshole politician. That's how you end up working your whole life almost every day like a fucking dog in some stupid job and you're still broke. So by all means, if you wanna live a shit life, follow the programming that's been laid out to you by some fucking crooked politicians and their stupid educational system. Follow outdated societal norms or you can snap out of it because unlike video game NPCs, real life NPCs can actually become conscious. They can snap out of societal norms. They can realize, holy shit, I've never been living objectively. I've never questioned my beliefs. It's time to do so. Chapter two, the life of the main character. So how does a main character, a playable character live? Well, the main character first controls the flow of information. So instead of watching the news and mainstream media all the time, the main character finds better information. The main character is able to pick out bullshit from true information. The main character knows that all the information you get in your head is super important. So you want to make sure you're getting the truth. You're not getting your information from the news, which are manipulated, or from the educational system, which is extremely outdated. You're getting your information from trusted sources you can find online. And then the main character questions everything. So not only does he control the information that gets in front of him, but he also ruthlessly questions that information. The best way to not be an NPC is by questioning absolutely everything. Question all information that is put in front of you. When I was 13, it was Easter day or something, we were, we were going to church. And as everybody was fucking praying in the church, oh God, please save us. I was sitting there 13 years old and I was thinking, why? Why are we in this fucking weird ass building? Why are we praying to some invisible God that never answers and never has answered? Why? I started questioning everything. I started questioning religion and I stopped being religious at 13 years old because I realized it doesn't make any sense. If you question why enough, it makes no fucking sense. So I stopped being religious at 13 years old. If you want to snap out of foreign programming of bullshit, then you have to question everything that's put in front of you. Next, the main character builds his own beliefs that are often contrary to what current society has to say. If you want to not be an NPC, then it's a good idea to build your own beliefs and your own way of viewing the world instead of taking what society has to say. Because you'll quickly notice, if you start questioning everything that society tells you, you quickly notice that a lot of it is backwards. A lot of it is wrong. Plain fucking wrong. And the only reason they put it in front of you is because they want to make you act like a good little boy and behave. You have to build your own beliefs and that's what the main character does. Society used to tell us that cigarettes are good for us. That's what they used to say. Cigarettes are healthy in like the 60s or 70s. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure, but they used to say that cigarettes are healthy. Well, if you were an NPC, if you were programmed by society, you would have been smoking. But if you were smart and you realized that, hey, hey, this ain't fucking healthy, this can't be healthy. I must seek out better information. If you have critical thinking and you question everything and you build your own beliefs, you would have escaped the trap of smoking. In the 60s or 70s, you would have realized that it's not healthy, not at all. And you shouldn't smoke infinite amounts of cigarettes. If you had critical thinking at that time, you would have realized that it's all fucking marked. Finally, the main character takes control of his life and lives by his beliefs. Besides finding the right information, questioning it and building your own beliefs, 
you also have to live by those beliefs. You have to take control of your life, you have to take control of your subconscious, of your lizard brain, of that brain that tells you to procrastinate, the one we hate listening to. You have to take control and, you know, start acting according to your own beliefs in life. You have to be brave enough to do that. And this isn't easy. Going back to the cigarettes example, if in the 60s or 70s you told people that no, cigarettes are not healthy, people would have called you crazy. How could you say that cigarettes are not healthy? The mass media is telling us that it's healthy. So it must be true. You can't argue with people who listen to mass media. You, you can't. They, they don't have critical thinking. Don't argue. Just let them be. You're wasting your fucking time if you're trying to argue. If you're in the 60s and you believe that cigarettes are bad for you because you're an objective thinker, you're a critical thinker, you realize the truth, don't argue with anybody. Just let them smoke. Don't think about other people. Take control of your own life and live by your own beliefs. Don't try to teach other or indoctrinate other people with your own beliefs. Just take control of your own life. Chapter 3. How to become a main character. Okay, so how do you exactly, step by step, become a main character and make sure you're in control of your life, you're not a fucking NPC, you don't end up living an unsatisfying average existence. Well, the first thing you gotta do, as I said earlier, is control the information, the flow of information that reaches you. If you have half an hour left at the end of your day, what do you do? Do you scroll social media or do you read a book? If you're scrolling social media, then you're wasting your fucking time. You have to choose information that is really good. You have to find sources where information is true. People are giving you true information. The best way to tell if something is true is to look at multiple perspectives. If you want to learn what the best diet is, well, you're gonna look at all the diets, you're gonna look at all the research and what everybody is saying, even if they're saying the completely opposite thing, you're not gonna fall into some fucking camp, you're not gonna be a fucking NPC, you're gonna think objectively, you're gonna gather as much information as possible, and then you will experiment and make your own objective decisions. But the idea here is that you gather a lot of information, you control the information, right? You don't let bullshit information like that of mass media and social media manipulate you. You control the information and then you gather all the facts as much as possible. Once you gather the facts, the second step is to ask why. Ask why. Question absolutely everything. All the facts you've gathered, question them. Are they true? Are they in line with reality? Why is this true? Question The greatest three letters to ever come into existence are W-H-Y. Why? If you keep asking why for everything and you don't reach a fact, a factual statement, then it's false. Everything is false. You can break people's whole entire existence by just asking them why. Why do you do what you do? Why? Why? Why do you believe this? Why? And you'll see that most people do not have a logical reason to believe anything. They just believe it because it feels most convenient for them because they're NPCs, they've been programmed by the system. Ask yourself, why do I do what, what I do? Why are you watching this video right now? Why? Do you have a logical fucking reason for watching this video or were you just scrolling? like an NPC. And this is very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable to ask why. It's probably 10 out of 10 on the discomfort scale. It's, it's super uncomfortable. This is why most people don't do it. Because when you ask why, at some point you realize that, hey, my whole fucking life has been a lie. The whole programming that society gave me has been a fucking lie. Now I have to figure it out on my own. My advice is if you're feeling uncomfortable, about asking why you do anything, then that means it's probably illogical. And if it's illogical, you have to make it logical. It's probably not in line with the truth of reality. So keep asking why about everything and you will find the truth and you will find who lies and who has no logical reason for what they're saying. Most people don't have a logical reason. After you ask why, you need to create a system. This is a system of true beliefs about the world. All the whys, everything you do 
should come to a singular conclusion. That's like your first principle of your belief system. Hopefully I have my belief system up on the screen right now. But as you can see, whatever I do, there is a why to it. And that why is the purpose. And that the purpose is justified by other beliefs. But all, all the things I do, if I keep questioning why, eventually you reach the same answer, purpose. And then if you ask why for the purpose, then you go up the philosophy. I know exactly why I'm recording this video. I'm recording this video so I could potentially, you know, grow the channel, get some views, eventually make some money, get financial freedom, and this financial freedom will allow me to freely pursue my purpose. So I know exactly why I'm doing this. I know exactly why I'm working out, for example. I'm working out so I can be strong, live long, be healthy, so I can achieve my purpose. I know exactly why I never drink alcohol. I never drink alcohol because alcohol is toxic for your motherfucking system and I want maximum recovery, I want maximum mental cognition as well. Alcohol impairs those things, so I never drink alcohol. Every decision that I make in my life, there is a why. And this is why I'm so stubborn about all my fucking decisions. I've thought about everything. I've questioned everything. I know the whys of my entire life, of everything I do and every decision I make. If you don't know the whys, then you need to figure them out. You need to create your system. My whole channel is essentially about helping people create their system through a purpose. You know, I help men find and achieve their purpose. That's my goal. Help you find your purpose and then dedicate your life to it. Help you find your whys. But whatever you do, it should come down to a singular why. And this can be counted as the first principle of your belief system. After you have your belief system in place, and by the way, all of these things that I told you about getting information, questioning it, then creating a system, then acting out of the system, all these things happen simultaneously. All the time, you're getting information. All the time, you are questioning that information. All the time, you should be modifying, you know, bettering your system. All the time, you are acting, you're doing something on that system. All the steps I told you about becoming a conscious man, escaping, you know, the NPC world, all the things I told you are things that you do all the time. This isn't a one step, two step, three step process. This is a simultaneous process going on all the time. And the fourth step of that process is to learn to control yourself and live by your system. So just, you know, getting information, brutally scrutinizing that information, asking why, thinking critically, then creating a belief system, that is not enough. You actually have to do your belief system in real life, which is very difficult. Because the reality is, is that if you have an objective belief system, if it's not based by what society is trying to program into you, then your belief system is going to be very different than that of society. And when it's very different, society tries to push you down. It tries to tell you, no, this is not right, you, you shouldn't do this. But you have your own objective belief system. So to live by your system, to learn to control yourself, to learn to have discipline, to learn to be productive, to learn to control your mind, to overcome yourself, overcome your own doubts, well, that's very difficult. So that's a topic of a whole nother video. That's the topic of discipline, productivity, whatever. But you need to learn how to control yourself. And this is self-improvement. Self-improvement is not going to the gym or stopping video games. Yes, those things improve you, but that's not self-improvement. Real self-improvement, fucking level 100 self-improvement is this process. It's the process of picking the right information, questioning that information, creating and modifying your own system, and then executing your system. The closer your system is to reality and the better you're able to execute that system in your life, the better your life becomes, the more improved as a man you become. Up until now, you might have been watching level one self-improvement where it's been like about fitness and shit. Here, you got level fucking 50, level fucking 100. I'm talking to you about the fucking way the brain works. So if you wanna skyrocket your self-improvement, if you, if you wanna become the best, control the flow of information, question absolutely everything, question why, build a cohesive belief system that is in line with truth, the reality, the physical reality, and then just act out the system. Perfect. 
ruthless. This is how you become a beast. This is how you beat everybody else. So if you found value in this video, then join the movement, become a purposeful man, subscribe for more of this type of content. And remember, if you don't achieve your purpose, nobody will. Be ruthless.